My senior year of high school, I did an internship at the middle school just to kind of get a feel of, you know, being a teacher before I went to college and I was in a seventh grade science classroom. And one day I was sitting there doing a lab with students and I, and I just kind of like had a moment to myself of, oh my gosh, this is where I belong. I could see myself being an educator. My motto is science is everywhere. Everywhere you go, you're gonna see science. So that's kind of the thing that I instill in the kids from day one is no, when they walk out of my classroom, they are going to see science everywhere they look and everything they do. So for me to have that concept, I have to kind of practice what I preach. I take them out of the classroom. I do tons and tons of field trips. I do labs activities out at the creek and you know outside so they can see how science connects in all these different realms and it gives them a better insight of why science is past the four walls of a classroom. I started working with Mr. Rue when he began teaching and it was, it's was it been exciting to watch him from the first day be an, a great teacher, he's a natural, and then to watch him grow over the past years progressing to becoming an exceptional teacher in such a short time. It's a really exciting thing to see someone with so much potential. Mr. Rue's teaching style starts with the kids. What, what is the best way for the kids to learn? If that means he needs to stand on a desk, if he lectures with some lizard on his shoulder, it's, it's to keep them focused on him. Uh, it's very hands-on in the sense of lab after lab after lab. We don't do one lab per quarter, one lab per week even. The kids are constantly uh, doing labs and, and a lab is anywhere in this building. It's not just in this classroom. They might be out in the parking lot, down at the creek. In the first two weeks of school, we're outside in a creek. And then that kind of helps me plan for the rest of the year of showing these kids that, you know, why you need to go outside, why you need to go explore. Because I, for a lot of these kids, if I, I think if I didn't take them outside, to do creek explorations or stuff. They probably would sit at home and never go outside at all. Anytime you can have students work together to work through problems and benefit from each other's trial and error solutions, you have a magical recipe for great, great learning. And that's the type of thing he does every day. I've been in this business 28 years and I've probably over the years known four or five teachers like this. If you look at our evaluation instrument that we use for teachers, he, he hits every item on that list. It's as if they created that teacher evaluation with him in mind.